right, we're back with another jumbo biscuit recipe. This one is very cool. Now in a mixing bowl, we're gonna get three cups, uh, a three fourths cup of sugar, a teaspoon of brown sugar, and just a dash of cinnamon. Now mix that up. So you wanna grab one side of it, and you just wanna dip it in there, kinda like you're like stamping it in, okay? And then we're gonna set that sugar side up on a nine by 13 parchment paper. So, all right, we got all nine of those on the pan. I had four left over from another recipe that I made. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this nine by 13. You could just do the eight that come in there, but I have enough sugar mixture. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do 12. Everything's better in a dozen. All right, now let's put this in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes. And then we're gonna get on to the strawberry part. All right, we got a box of strawberries. We got cut up into quarters. We're gonna put that in a bowl. You can grab some simple syrup, or you can use some agave if you have some fresh agave. But I'm just gonna kind of drizzle that in there. And I'm gonna mix this up. It just helps sweeten up these strawberries a little bit more. Coats them a little bit. We're gonna grab another one. We're gonna make that cream cheese mixture. So first thing is eight ounces of cream cheese. Eight ounces of cream cheese, half a tub of creamy Cool Whip. Make sure you use the creamy kind. A third cup of powdered sugar. Love that stuff. And then we have two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So let's get that. And let's mix this up. Oh, that's gonna be good. Oh man, those turned out so good. Wow. Okay, I let these cool for a little bit. So let's open this up. Oh man, that looks good. Okay, so let's get a little bit of this mixture in there. And then let's get couple of these strawberries with fruit, or sorry, with uh, sugar. Put that top back on. And look at that. Southern strawberry shortcake right there. We're gonna put that on a plate. And we're just gonna start tearing into the rest of these. Wow, guys, that looks so good. Get it all plated. Okay, I gotta try one of these. I just have to. I don't want to eat it over that because I want to keep that safe. It looks so pretty up there. Man, that looks so good. Look at that. Just squeeze it. Okay, here we go. Enough playing with your food. Wow. Man, look at that. That is so good. So creamy and textury in there. Got sugar crust. This is the best way to make strawberry shortcake. You gotta try this one. All right, we got the triple chocolate fudge cake in a crock pot. Yes, you heard me right. We're making a crock pot special dessert today. So we got the chocolate cake mix, we got three eggs, we got a cup of water. And this is just according to the box. Nothing, nothing new here yet. Um, half a cup of butter, and I'm doing this instead of the oil because I think it makes it taste a lot better. So let's mix that up and get on to the next thing. All right, that looks good. Okay, now the next step, I'm just gonna cover this to make it easy. We are going to make some chocolate pudding. Again, nothing new on the actual making of the pudding. It's just the mix and then three cups of milk. We're using the whole milk today and we're just gonna get our whisk and, and get that thickened up. All right, that looks good. Okay, now we're gonna move this out of the way. I'm just gonna pour this right on top there. Oh yeah. That's gonna be so good. 
I got my handy dandy spatula. So I know you guys like when I use this and get it all out of there. I'm gonna get it all out for you. Okay, now uh, next step, we're gonna grab some milk chocolates, except for it just says oak chocolates, because I already tore it off. I'm gonna put a bag of that in there. And then we're gonna do a bag of the caramels, or caramel, however you say it. Whoa. that in there good okay and then last step we're gonna add a little bit of the cinnamon just a nice little texture we got for this one and then let's just stir that together we're gonna make an epic delicious cake you guys are gonna love it's gonna be so good now let's put this on you can either do high for two hours or low for four hours. I'm gonna go for low for four hours, let it kind of slow cook. Um, but let's see what that's like in about four hours on low. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Wow, that's a cake? Yeah, I tried to like let it stay in there long enough. Um, it's definitely gonna be a really moist cake because it has the pudding in it. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna cut it like a cake really. I'm just sure gonna kind of so. like scoop it out. Whoa, now that's that delicious. is a juicy cake. Holy cow, heavens to Betsy's. Okay, I'm gonna get some Ready Whip on here. Cream? Oh yeah. What a dream. What a dream whipped cream. Look how jiggly it is. You see, I'm gonna cut That's when you know your cake is nice and moist, Taylor. That's when you know. Okay. Here we go. Let's see it. Oh man, it's gonna be good. Wow. Speechless? I'm speechless. So much chocolate. So much goodness. So moist, guys. You guys have to try that. That was so easy. Such a fun recipe. Man. All right, what do we got here? We've got cherry pie filling. We've got some apple pie filling. Yeah. We really have to shake it to get it out. Okay. I think I cut it all out. Mm hmm. We got a flipper and we're just gonna swirl this together here. Does it, do you have to swirl it? You can kind of just do whatever you uh, want, right? You don't have to. I just really like the dimension of colors here. I love that. So okay. this is kind of food art. Yeah, very got freehand. It. Got it. And then we've got cinnamon rolls mm. and we are just going to top these over like this. And you, you really... have a certain method to this or you just kind mm. of Kind of just as many as I can fit in the pan. Mm -hmm. Do you go cinnamon side up or down? I like to switch it up. Okay. Variety. Got it, got it. Okay, we're gonna bake this in the oven at 350 for about 17 minutes and 33 seconds. Okay, precise. Right. We've got our sweet condensed milk. Mm. Pour this in the bowl right here. And this is our topping, right? Oh, this is gonna be for the topping mm. for the cinnamon rolls. I love sweet condensed milk. We've got our frosting from the cinnamon roll package. Oh. And we have our unfiltered honey from Uganda. Just a little bit of that, freehand that. That looks nice. Yeah, this is really, really good stuff. Mm -hmm. We've got our sugar-free syrup. So, oh, sugar-free, yes, love yeah, that. I just love that. And then we've got our ground cinnamon, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. We're gonna mix that up really good. We want it to be nice. I'm gonna mix this. I just wanna add a little bit of sugar up here. Just a little bit of ready. Just to kind of get a little basey flavor to yeah. it. Yeah, a little sweeter, a little thicker. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, wow. I think it's done. They look done. This looks good. It looks so good. What are we doing now? Ooh. All right, we've got our topping and mm. we are going to slowly drizzle this wow. in where it's sizzling. That looks so good. Be banging in it. Yeah. 
And then we are going to top with a little bit of cinnamon. Some on it too. All right, we got the mini twist pretzels. We got a nine by nine pan. I'm gonna do about half of this bag. This is a 15 ounce bag, so I'm gonna do about eight ounces. And I'm just gonna crush up these pretzels really good. I'm gonna grab a stick of butter. I'm gonna drizzle that on in there. Ooh, baby. Now I'm gonna set this aside really fast. I'm gonna grab a bowl for mixing. I'm gonna do two eight ounce cream cheese boxes. This is just the regular, I didn't do reduced fat or anything, just two eight ounces of cream cheese. We're gonna do a cup of peanut butter. You guys are already licking your lips, I know it, I know I am. We're gonna do two cups of powdered sugar or confectioner sugar, however you like to call it. And then last but not least, a fourth cup of regular whole milk. Okay, grab your blender. We're gonna blend this up until it's nice and smooth. Okay, now that we've got that mixture, we're gonna pour that into the pretzel base. Look at that goodness. Oh man, it smells good. Nice and thick because of that peanut butter. I'll spread this out in our pan, nice and carefully. I want those pretzels to stay on bottom. We got our mixing bowl with some chocolate pudding mix. We're gonna pour this in here. Okay, and we wanna do about it calls for three cups of pudding, but we're going to do two and a half because we've already used some. So there's one, two, and two and a half. Perfect. Now let's get our mixer out and go to town. All right, that pudding is good to go. So we're going to bring our pie back and we're going to pour this in here. Well, all right, dump it all on top of there. Guys, this is gonna be so good. I'm pumped for this. Super easy to make too. Some peanut butter, some, some pudding. You got glory in a pan right here. The last ingredient, we're gonna do some whipped topping. So we're just gonna pour that entire thing on there. Oh yeah. Okay, now we're gonna spread that out. This is eight ounces of whipped cream, whipped topping. Ooh, that's gonna be good. So let's put that in the fridge for about an hour, let that set and try it out. Ooh, baby, that looks good. See those layers in there? Oh yeah. Okay, last step, if you like nuts, I'm gonna get some fresh pecans and just kinda crack those Kind of dust them over the top of that. Just for decoration mostly, since it already has the nuts in it. All right, let's dig in there. Let's see, I'm just gonna take a big old piece. Oh man, that looks so good. Wow, man, that looks thick. Look at that, woo, buddy. Tell you what, this is gonna be good, good, good. Let's try this out. Mmm, my mouth is watering. I wouldn't change a thing to that. Not a single thing. That was so good. I could have maybe crunched the pretzels up a little bit more, but it's still a good texture. That tastes amazing. You guys have to try this break that apart oh my gosh all right we're gonna make some cool whip cookies today this is a fun recipe that I found the other day and really was excited to try it 
I think you guys are gonna love it too. So we're gonna use an eight ounce container of Cool Whip. And then we'll grab our super moist devil's food cake. All right, and you're just gonna dump that whole thing into the Cool Whip. Kind of reminds me of the that hot chocolate dip we made. Cause that was like whipped cream and hot chocolate packets. Um, so this should be pretty interesting cause that was a really good dip. Whoa. I'm already making a mess. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really trying to get better. I know you guys think I'm very messy, so I'm trying to see what the life's like with when you're a little bit slower and don't make as big of a mess. Now we got some cookie batter right there. Look at that, how that thickened up. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we got that nice and mixed up, so I'm gonna grab my two spoons. I grab a cup of uh, powdered sugar and we're gonna do two spoons just so that we can avoid getting too messy. I like to use the spoons so I don't have to get as messy. This is a better one because I coated it a little bit better. Let's stick that one right here. Yeah, now it comes off the spoon a lot easier. That's gonna be a nice cookie. I'll kind of scrunch those down with a spatula whenever I am ready to finish this up, put it in the oven. But we're gonna do this for all 12 or so cookies. There, that's a good one right there. Nice. I got the, the trick down after that first one. All right, I got my spatula. I'm just gonna pour the rest of that powdered sugar on here. See if I can kind of use that. There we go. There we go. Now we're getting some cookies right there. Let's go. Just took me some figuring it out. I think that one's fine. That one's just a little, little dump thing. But we got some good ones in there. I think we're good to put this in the oven. Let's just put this in the oven for about 15 minutes on 350 and check it. Oh my gosh, those look good. Look at that. Man. Wow. That cooked really nice break that apart oh my gosh okay let's plate these let's get them ready for the the big party or whatever you're making these for it's gonna be way easier if i have to set that down look how nice they come off too because of that parchment paper and that uh kind of flour but actually powdered sugar so interesting look at that man that looks good Okay, I wanna bite into that one. Look at that. Wow, okay. That's really good. It's so interesting because it's made of cake batter. It definitely tastes like cake, but it has the crunchiness of a cookie. I love it. Three ingredients, three ingredient cookies, guys. You guys have to try this one. That looks good. All right, we got that vanilla candy coating. We're gonna make an awesome Easter bark today. We're gonna get two pounds of this. It's gonna melt in this crock pot. And we're gonna add 12 ounces of white chocolate chips. And spread that around the edges. All right, now let's cook this on high for about an hour to an hour and a half until it melts, and then we'll add the rest of it. Okay, nice and melted. Stir that up a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna grab some peanuts. I got some lightly salted. We're gonna do about half a can of that. So, what is that, six ounces? And then I'm gonna grab some uh, pretzel twists. Just gonna kinda break those up. Maybe a cup or so of that. Let's stir this up. You wanna make sure that all this gets coated by the chocolate. Put a little bit more pretzels. Make sure that all that's nice and coated. So now I have parchment paper, baking sheet. So what I'm gonna do is grab my little cookie scoop. I get a cookie scoop worth. Put that right there. No size is right or wrong. We're just 
scooping these out so these can harden. And then we're going to Easter, Easterify them. Is that a word? Probably not. We're going to turn them into some little Easter eggs. Now, we're going to grab some of these Easter Blend Pastel M&Ms. And these are amazing. We're just going to kind of sprinkle those on there. Now to top it off, we got some Easter sprinkles. I'm just gonna do some sprinkles on this. Make it even more pretty. And you wanna do all this before it hardens. Cause it's gonna really soak into there. And then you just flip this thing, kinda cool. Some blue crystals. Looks like those little candies that you eat. What do we got next? Ooh, some Looks like the sprinkles they put on donuts. Okay, so you can either set this out, room temperature, let it cool down, or if you want to speed up the process, I'm going to put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour and let these harden. We're going to try it out. Wow, look at those. Nice and rock hard. Let's take some of these off. Oh, baby. Look at that. So nice, comes off the parchment paper perfectly. Guys, this might be the best crafty dessert I think I've made. I usually tend to mess these up and I think I did pretty darn good. I might even post this one on the internet, let's see. Wow, all right, we can't just look at it though. We gotta try it out. Here we go. That is good. A lot of textures going on. Chocolate's really nice. Mmm. Guys, you gotta try this one for Easter, seriously. Look at that.